For this tutorial, we're going to talk about modular programming in the C language, and I'm going to use a Hello World example to demonstrate that. So I already set up a couple things ahead of time. I've got a Hello Project folder. Within my Hello Project folder, I have the program, uh, my main program, 00 underscore main dot C. It's already open, so let me open it here. So you can see it's just a very standard Hello World program. I got my programmer name, date, purpose. I have a preprocessor directive for standard IO.h. I have my int main. Doesn't return anything. And it's going to print Hello World. So if you have that set up, we'll go ahead and compile that. I'm going to F6 it. F6. OK. It compiled with no errors. I have exit code 0. So my folder, there's a newly created executable. I'm going to double left click on it and bang it opens and closes. Well, I'm going to do a little trick here to make it easier for us to see that program without having to actually open a command prompt. So underneath the hello world, I'm going to use the get, the getch, and this will get a character from the keyboard and then continue on. So this will get a char character from the keyboard or input, then it continues. If you want to get more information, you can always Google uh, get. There's other things such as get chars that can handle the buffering for characters that you're entering. So watch how this works. We'll F6 this again. OK. Compiled with no errors. I'll then run it. And notice, hello world pops open. I press any character in the keyboard, and it exits. So run it. Hello world is shown. Then it exits. That's, a, uh, that's not really the point of the lesson. We're going to try to modularize, modularize or create modules out of this hello world output that we're getting. So a way we can do that is we create a function or a subroutine that will exist outside of the main. So I'm going to call this one hello. And I'm going to open brace and a close brace here. And there's the name of my function. Now I'm going to cut out this printf statement and put it in here. So I now have a subroutine or a function that we're going to be using for my main program. But notice I need to call it somehow. So in here, I will call it hello, which is the name of the function, with a semicolon so that it executes. So I've changed the way my program runs. Hit main void runs. Hello calls this function here, hello, and it'll print that out. When it's done, it'll come back into my int main void which it will get, get a character, and then it should exit. So we'll F6 this. No errors during compilation. So I run it, and it behaves exactly the same way. Press any key, press a character, exits. So that's a way we can move uh, programs out of our main, kind of build a module out of it. And, and start making it easier for us to specify particular parts by, by focusing on the things that we want to program separately. In this case, my hello world. I can take this a step further and actually push this, this function into a different file. So let's go ahead and do that. Go into File, New, create a new file, um, call it File, Save As, uh, in the same folder. Uh, 0, 01 underscore hello.c. So it's a hello.c program with nothing in there. I'm going to take this entire function here that we created and cut it and then paste it and see it's red so let me save that and save it. Now this hello.c you really can't compile this. This is part of the main program. So the main program is going to be compiling or pulling data from that other file that we created. You can see we have both files here. Uh, now I need to call that hello. This hello, if I run it, it's not going to work. And we'll see why here in a moment. So let me F6 this. 
okay? And it has an error. It can't undefined symbol hello. It doesn't know where to find hello. I'm calling hello up here in line 9, but it doesn't know where it's at. So I'll go to my preprocessor directive and include that file. So same way, include, quote, the name of the file. I believe it's 01 underscore hello.c. So I am now telling the main where to find this hello file. So 01 underscore hello.c. So if I compile it again, F6 it. No problems, it finds it. Exit code zero, so let me run this program again. And hello world, press the key. It works exactly as we figured it was gonna work out. So really quick way of modularizing your C programming by moving it into a subroutine or function and another way of taking that function and putting it into a different file. The advantage of this is if you wanted to focus on your hello program, you could, you could actually work on it right here. If you had like a header you're working on or some type of output you're working on, you don't have it cluttered in the entire length of your main program. So this stays very short. You don't have 5,000 lines of code. You might have 500 programs, but each pro or each fi 500 files, but each file is very um, is short and and it's it's speci specifically designed for what, it, what you want it to do. So it makes it a lot easier for you to troubleshoot your programming. Hope this helps out, and we'll see you later.